Hello, I hope you're doing well. Welcome back to more Rocket League news out there. I hope you guys all enjoyed this past weekend brought some crazy news for all your Rocket League fans out there. Firstly, to preface, there's going to be a lot of spoilers. If you guys did miss this past weekend, RLRS promotional playoffs did happen. Some crazy things going on all throughout. So from here on out, guys, spoilers will occur. And also to clarify why I didn't actually make a prediction episode for this. If you guys have been watching our Rocket League news here for quite some time, league play went very well prediction-wise. I thought it was pretty straightforward. Ever since, though, regional championships, as well as, of course, uh, the RLCS main stage, we didn't do too hot prediction wise and I didn't want to predict anyone through especially my my favorite player out there and his team savage that being my boy Bluey I didn't want to predict them through have them not go through and that's actually a, a pretty big loss there if they if they don't go through and then I would feel so terrible so that's why I did not make a prediction video guys but I can tell you right now I am super excited for all the teams who managed to qualify as all four RS teams actually qualified all four CS teams actually will be relegated back down of course two North American teams two European teams if you guys did see it though the competition was not very close I think in my opinion you guys can leave a comment down below there were maybe one or two close series besides that it was all pretty brutal blowouts out there I think all the best teams did go through let's of course start with North America guys were splice I think one of the two best teams here this weekend besides maybe red reserve they absolutely blow away everyone 4-1 allegiance 4-0 rogue I don't think anyone's arguing there guys AXB with several clutch plays they deserve their RLCS spot and they earned it this past weekend now on the other side of things though it's actually team bread with a slight comeback. Their opening series against Rogue, I would say fairly one-sided. It looked pretty brutal. Lost there to Rogue. They go to the loser's bracket. They beat Allegiance. They remade up against actually Rogue itself. Uh, and they're kind of a funny little uh, event there, right? The opening series went to Rogue. They meet back up. The winner goes on. The loser gets relegated. And it's actually Team Bread taking them down. And actually, um, <laughs> MVP of the weekend, guys, not a man out there. It's actually Karma herself. She actually earns MVP or Player of the Weekend. And she returns to RLCS for the first time ever since Season 2. So huge congratulations. Congrats to her, Team Bread, Team Splice out of North America. Definitely the two best teams to go through. And I think we could probably all agree after seeing North American League play, these teams, that being Allegiance and Rogue, probably weren't the top talent. Of course, that's why they were in the relegation playoffs in the first place. But Splice and Bread certainly earned their spots here, guys. And I cannot wait to see them compete. And like I said previously, though, I, I said Splice was one of two best teams. I think the very best team, though, of those of those two, the, the top team of this weekend had to be Red Reserve. If you guys watch these guys play, newly signed just a few months ago, that roster has done absolutely uh, mad things together. The, them, of course, alongside Savage, both went 6-1 and one throughout league play. They were probably two of your favorites alongside Fnatic. I think Complexity was probably the far-off shot for a chance to actually qualify. In my own opinion, I think Fnatic, with the history of that team, and had a solid chance to actually stay in CS. Unfortunately enough for them, though, they met up with some, some pretty crazy teams. Red Reserve being one of them. They beat Fnatic in their opening match 4-2. Then it's actually Fnatic, uh, unfortunately enough, in the loser's bracket. We'll, we'll talk about them in a bit, but Red Reserve go on to qualify against Savage in absolutely dominant fashion. The most dominant series, I think, throughout the entire uh, this entire weekend. They 4-0 Team Savage. Bluey did not have the best series of all time or the best weekend. Luckily enough, his teammates, though, uh, Alpha, for one, actually went off, though. Red Reserve, like I said before, a 4-2 Fnatic, 4-0 Sweep Savage. They earned their spots, and it's actually Team Savage, though, on the comeback, uh, kind of similar to Team Bread as well. They reface off against Fnatic to actually qualify. Winner qualifies, loser is relegated, and it's a very, very close series. Although on paper it says 4-1 in favor, of Savage. Let me tell you guys, if you did not watch the series, go back and watch the VODs. If possible, one series went to zero seconds of the score for Savage. They won off that goal. Another series went to seven minute overtime and a win for Savage. So on paper, it looks like a blowout, but in, in real life, it was a very close series. Nonetheless, congrats to Bluey, my boy. I, I'm so excited to see him and Devo now back in RLCS. It's great across the board to see so many names now returning to CS. And on top of that, guys, I just want a quick shout out. Alpha, had a blowout weekend. Now, uh, it's actually Ronicky who got the MVP of the of the European side, but it definitely should have gone to Alpha for carrying this team. Not, no offense to the guys, but he just had uh, some blowout games there. I don't think anyone's denying that. Nonetheless, guys, all four teams who went through were actually RS teams, definitely deserving of their spots. Like I said before, a few close series, but besides that, mainly blowouts. I think all the best teams did go through. Now, very lastly, though, this does strike the question. If you guys want to leave a comment down below about this, we have heard rumors about maybe extending CS season. The league play season because right now it's currently only seven matches or seven weeks so each team plays seven games which does not seem like enough on top of that the number of teams in my opinion should be increased give more teams the opportunity to actually make a living play at rocket league if you are currently an rlrs team there is absolutely no way you can be financially stable even for some cs teams or most cs players you cannot be financially stable unless you make the main stage by some far-fetched chance which again is, is very difficult still nowadays i don't think any of these teams are, are really you know, 
Mario raking in the money besides maybe a Cloud9, besides, of course, a Dignitas, besides those guys, when they actually get older of age, they might have to find a job. And so uh, I really do agree that I think there should be more weeks and more teams. And this format definitely showed its weaknesses throughout that. I think the one main example I have gone off before is a team like Mouse Sports. They won two matches that first week. They had a double matchup. Um, and again, they won both of those. They didn't win the entire next six weeks and they still somehow made regional championships. That's what happens when you only have seven matches. You can win two or three games and somehow make top four, make top five, and actually, of course, make regional championships, which is pretty insane. And I don't think that really should be a thing. But again, uh, uh, some, some strenuous fixes that, of course, I'm sure Psyonix and the boys will actually fix in the future. As always, though, the guys, this weekend was absolutely insane. One last huge congrats to all the Rocket League, uh, of course, rival series teams who have now qualified. I cannot wait to see them compete. And of course, this upcoming season, guys, I cannot wait for league play. I don't want to wait that long, but we have to. But I hope you guys all enjoy. As always, my name is Jake. I'll see you all back here sometime soon at Rocket League News, and I'll see you all then. Bye.